today. Hey, it's good to see everybody. Okay, I see a lot of nice families out there. Somebody's entering right here. We're just about ready to start. This is our third recital today. Okay, uh, we our first recital was six in the morning for <laughs> for us Californians, and so. Uh, but you know what? What's really fun is uh, you know a lot of parents are are were concerned. You know, how can my child get up so early to play the piano? But one thing that you'll find out when you're a performer, there's something about adrenaline. You know that feeds your system and then it just wakes you up. You know, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. And every one of our performers were bright and bushy eyed and ready to play. And so, and I'm sure you guys are the lucky ones. You guys got to get up, not so, you didn't have to get up so early in the morning. <laughs> and so the sun is just rising out here in California. So anyways, uh, my name is Daryl Leffler. I am the boss. I'm the owner of Daryl Leffler's Academy of Music. And something that has developed out of, you know, we, we, we've had the, uh, Excuse me, I'm letting somebody in here. Okay, what we, you know, as you know, we were all going through a world crisis now. And, uh, and it's been like this for almost a year where we've all had to change our lives. And, uh, you know, this is, this is one of the good things that's come out of uh, the situation that our world is in. And that is, is bringing music to families across the world. And so uh, a year ago, this would never even been a thought or even an idea. But, you know, since, uh, since March, we had to shut down our music school. And then we picked it up again in May, lessons again, uh, after taking some time off. But what we've developed is a new way of teaching, was, which was through online teaching, you know. And so it was new to all of us. And so I really am thankful to all my teachers because they've had to develop a brand new way of teaching like overnight, you know. And so, and that's just not music teachers. That's teachers all over the world, you know. Uh, so uh, I give a lot of credit to all of them for you know, doing what it takes and adapting to, you know, keeping the children educated. And, and in our case, keeping, keeping our musicians uh, surviving and keeping them alive and, and keeping their, their growth in musicianship uh, uh, alive. And so one thing great about music is uh, it, it develops a creative side in the brain, you know, uh, in school, uh, they learn, you know, math, and they learn uh, reading. And all of that is like on one side of the brain, which is, you know, they, they call that uh, cognitive reasoning. I mean, but, but the other one is uh, the creative side. So that's where music kind of helps develop both sides of the brain of a child. And so one is the creative side, one is the, the uh, analysis side. And when you can exercise that part of a child's brain, they develop skills that, that last lifetime. And so, so that's why we're, uh, music is important to, uh, to the upbringing of a child and, and uh, I know, uh, I know your, your culture is, music's very important, you know, and so it's like my culture, you know, my, I'm, I'm uh, my mom is, uh, my mom is Filipino, so I'm half Filipino. And so that's what, she, you know, that's very important in their culture as well is, is, is uh, bringing, you know, having music as part of their upbringing. And so that's, that's like a priority to them. And I know that is for your culture. And so, uh, so that's, that's really, that's really that's really great, you know, and so that's why we're able to do something like this. So anyways, uh, like I said, the idea of bringing families together through the children of their music has developed. And that's one of the good things that we've, uh, we have uh, going for us. And so, and that's what we're going to do today. And we couldn't do this without the help of all of you. So we are going to start our first recitalist. Let me get over there and we're going to go to uh, Harshika, where is Harshika at? Let me find her. There she is. She's ready to play. Let me bring her up here. We're going to go to her house right now. How are you, Harshika? Good. Hey, Harshika, how old are you? 10 years old. 10 years old. Harshika, go uh, wave, wave to all your family. They want to say, they want to say, you. there you go. There's Harshika. <laughs> and what, what, what grade are you in, Harshika? Fourth grade. And what's the first song you're going to play for us? Uh, Okay, let's hear a harp song from Harshika. Bravo! Nice job. Harshika, we're going to do your next song in a little bit. So we'll come back and check on you in a sec, okay? All right, we'll be right back. We're going to move hey, on. Hey, Harshika, what's your second song going to be? Uh, 
The wall. Okay, let's hear that one. That's awesome. We'll come back later and hear your third song. Me hey, Harshika. Hey, Harshika. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a view of everybody. And everybody who's here to see Harshika, Harshika's family, wave to her so she can see that. See who's here. There. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big group over there. There's like five of them. How'd you get so many people involved? You got a. You got a big fan club, Harshika. I didn't realize you had so many fans. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's great to see Harshika's family here. It really is. I'm so glad you're here. All right, Harshika, what is the song that you're going to play for us? Um, Hold on, Harshika. Let me let me blow you up here so everybody can see you. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry. What was the name of the song again? Um, the Magic Man. The Magic Man. It's one of my favorites. Go ahead. I love your performance. That was awesome. I like how you smile to us. That's beautiful. You were quite the performer. Harshika, take a bow so everybody can clap for you. Take a bow, Harshika. Bravo, Harshika, you were wonderful. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> that was an awesome performance. All right.